Buenas noches, Pepperdine, and welcome to Balls and Holes with Dick Starr here with my compatriot, Armando Yi. How are we? Very well. Bring Buenas noches. How about that right mm, there? I like and, it. And uh, we're also here with Pepperdine's men's volleyball star, the Tower of Terror, Maurice Torres. Maurice, how are you doing tonight? Doing very well. Can't complain. Can't complain. Neither can we. Um, Armando's going to get the question started for you. Be ready. These are going to be quick coming at you hard. These questions come from nowhere. They come from all angles. So just get ready for it, Maurice. First of all, Maurice, thank you very much for coming on Buenas Noches Pepperdine. Let's talk some volleyball. Maurice, how was your President's Day? Uh, President's Day was good. Got to spend some time with my family, have a day off of volleyball, and uh, spend some time with the girlfriend. Ooh, oh, girlfriend. Wow. All right, Maurice, I mean, we're going to keep it right there with girlfriend. Uh, how long have you been eloped? Are you planning on marrying this girl? And uh, do you see it going further than, you know, next week? Or, you know? <laughs> So do the ladies here have a chance of what we want to know? Um, I just take it day by day. Um, she, she's awesome. She's very special to me. Um, mm. but, but I take it day by day. Living one day at a time with Maurice Torres. And speaking of taking it one day at a time, we hear you like to practice your serve with her. Is that true or false? Um, false. Uh, she's not much of a volleyball player. So uh, I like to practice my serve with other people instead. Ooh, so he's not a man of one serve. He serves it to everybody. Uh, Maurice, speaking of volleyball, we'll keep it there. You guys had a big win over number one USC a couple of days back, uh, back that is. And then you guys come back and you get swept by Stanford. Talk about the highs and lows you guys feel. You know, how is it, you know, how do you keep it up, Maurice? You know, the attitude after such a swing of emotions. Mm. It's always tough. Uh, to beat a team that's number one in the nation, you know, it's, it's, it's always fun. You know, they're, they were a great team, and it always sucks to lose. I'm a, I'm a hell of a competitor, mm. and I uh, hate to lose and uh, refuse to lose. So when we do lose, it's just kind of tough. Maurice, you look like a competitor from two miles away. Not one mile, it's two miles. But I've been to some games, and those things get extremely violent. What happens? Have you ever felt like coming to blows on or off the court, Maurice? Ooh. Absolutely, uh, more than a few times, especially mm. with certain people from certain teams. Uh, Name some names. <laughs> no. Um, there's a couple few on uh, some Pac-10 teams that I won't name um, in our league and uh, that I would like to go with blows with. But uh, <sighs> Marv does a uh, pretty good job at keeping uh, our emotions under wraps and mm. um, keeping our heads on straight. Keeping oh. the head on. Uh, Maurice, right. uh, an excellent question I have for you right now. Um, you have an ex-teammate by the name of Rodney Santos, who was you know, infamous around this <laughs> campus for many reasons, uh, maybe yeah. because he was very tall, maybe because he wore that hat on his head. Can you give us a little more insight on the, you know, the things we might not know about Rodney Santos that we might want to know? Of course. Mm. Uh, Rodney Santos is one funny guy. Everything large is about there's everything everything about him is large, including his hair. When he takes off that hat, his uh, oh my gosh, his hair is quite uh, out there. Mm. Um, what kind of hair are we talking about here, Maurice? Uh, if he picked it out, he would uh, have an <laughs> afro. So <laughs> it, it, it only grows when you pick it out. Ooh, oh, and speaking of Ronnie, can you please dispel the myth? Does he or does he not carry a small bottle of lotion? Because he's very ashy, of course. Um, <laughs> he, he definitely does in his volleyball bag at all times. He always carries a little bottle of lotion that mm. uh, he likes to lubricate him, his mm. elbows oh, and right hands right. before uh, every game. Yeah, and Armando, you actually have a bottle of lotion in your pocket right now, don't you? I do, but I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to do any brand promoting or anything like that. It's not that type of show. No. Yeah. But, you know, you know, Maurice, we're talking about your hair. We're talking about Marie, uh, you know, Rodney Santos's hair. Is there any place you could send Armando to to get a better haircut? He got his haircut this past two weeks ago, a traumatic experience from him. He still looks like he got beat with a weed whacker. Um, could you give him any advice on where to get a haircut for, you know, say under $50? Mm. Um, there's some pretty good places in L.A., mm -hmm. a little downtown L.A., mm -hmm. a little sketch, but mm. you definitely get a good haircut. Where do you get this nice haircut, though? That's a, This is a nice-looking haircut. Where do you get it? I have my mom cut my hair. She's, oh, uh, Mrs. She, Torres. Uh, she's uh, she's quite a barber, I guess. Oh. oh, and thank you very much, Maurice. The final question right here. They, we hear we, they call you Magic Fingers. False or true? True. Oh, whoa. Let me ask him one last one, Maurice. Sorry, we're out of time. Yeah. Maurice, history test tonight. 
plus or minus C minus for you over under? What do you say? Over. Over. Over Ooh. for sure. I'm uh, shoot, shooting for the stars. Absolutely. And final question right here, Maurice. Who is your favorite president? This is El Presidente edition. Favorite president? Obama. Uh, Got to go with a little diversity. I'm a diverse person. Very diverse, and we're ready for our diverse test tonight, Maurice. That it's been are. nice having you Thank on here. You. We gotta get, we're going to leave the studio right now to go study. We'll be back after this commercial break.